Welcome to me and you outside. Hey, this is going to be a great fishing trip you're going to want to go along with me on. I am down here and been invited to go fishing on the White River in Arkansas. Now, this is not very far, about 15 miles out of, or 15, 18 miles out of Mountain Home, Arkansas. It's called the White River. It's a river that comes out of the Bull Shoals Lake, and uh, it's a super cold, cold river, and it is stocked full of trout. So we're gonna we're gonna do some fishing down here. Now I've been invited right here by my good friend Greg Matthews, right there, Matthews Taxidermy. He's getting this boat already. He got himself a trout fishing boat here, a classic trout fishing boat. Greg, how long is this boat? Twenty-two. Twenty-two foot. Just a twenty-two foot boat. He's got it set up with four seats. You can take four fishermen in here very comfortably because there's lots and lots of room. But today, at least for today, it's just him and I going to be in here. His wife, Barb, is back at the camp. She just wanted to relax while Greg and I go out here fishing. We're going to try to catch some trout. It's my goal to catch our limit for sure and take them back to Missouri and cook them in various ways. And here's some lures that Greg likes to use for these trout. He loves these right here. You like that one, that big of a lure? Oh, yeah. Trout, trout? is not a big lure really boy look at that box of lures okay well i'm going to show you here in about 15 minutes that they'll hit a big lure <laughs> i want to see it greg i want to see it and then i'll ask for a big lure <laughs> so we're going to have a good time anyways we're going to catch some fish i no doubt we are now this white river right here is a beautiful river we're, this what's this campground called greg white buffalo the white buffalo the buffalo river runs into this okay the buffalo river is down below us here about a oh, little over a quarter mile but this is cold clear water right here and i mean it is cold that's why there's trout in it but um anyways beautiful campground here got cabins they have campsites it's a wonderful place so let's go fishing let's see what we catch these trout floating down the white river it's gonna be fun stay right there Got him a trout. Uh, you a good one? Ain't that good. Oh, he's good enough, isn't he, Greg? We'll take him. I did catch one here. A small rainbow but we're gonna keep him because I'm gonna cook these up probably whole we'll see lots of ways to cook trout that's about the size I catch on Spring River down there in Arkansas we'll take him right on not a big one Uh, that a keeper? I'd say it is. Three? Yeah. Greg got him a trout. That's a good one, isn't it? It's not a brown, is it? Nice. Huh? That's a good fish, Greg. Got one? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a better one. Yes, it is. That thing's really good today. That's a good looking trap right there. Beautiful rainbow. Nice rainbow trout. That's a beautiful one right there. Now I'm kidding you. That is a dandy. It is, isn't it? Oh crap. It's a buried dead hook in my finger. Mm. I got that hook pretty deep in me. It sure did. It got me good. He just came out of his mouth and just went up and jerked right in my hand. Wanna make a movie out of it? Yeah, might as well. Can you believe that? That happened to me before, but this time it got me gooder. It's a little old bitty hook, but it's got me below the barb. All right. And I got this hook in there and I'm gonna have to pull it out. I got some ice on it right now trying to numb it. Mmm. Oh, I dread that. That, that trout, um, the hook just came out of his mouth and it just flew up and got me. Pulling it on through. I'm gonna cut the barb off. Get the barb off? I'm going to, yeah. There's what I did. Oh, God. I pulled it through. Now I gotta cut that barb off. See that? Cut that barb off. I, I went ahead and pulled it through my skin. Cut that barb off. Whew. Well, we got a good limb of the trout. I got a hook out of my hand and stuck way past the barb. I got it out of my hand and all is well. Not sore or anything like that. So we did pretty good. We cut our limit. What more can you ask for? about two hours to get down here and it's worth every second of it i would do it again in a heartbeat i love this river it's beautiful it's a turquoise green kind of a color of water beautiful scenery i'll show you here 
big high bluffs all on both sides. It's just a gorgeous place down here in Buffalo City, Arkansas. And a great campground, great people. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'll show you the fish we got when we get back. That, my friends, is a bag. This is a bag full of trout. See that trout right there? That is a dandy, dandy fish. Isn't it, Greg? Yeah, that's a good one. Good, yeah, good a, trout. Take these back to Missouri and cook them up. Fry them. I'll show you what they taste like. All right, made it back to Missouri. All is good. Got my trout laid out here. I'm going to uh, fillet some of these trout, and some of them I'm just going to cut the heads off and gut them, leave the skin on, and grill them. So what I'm going to do with these, these trout is uh, uh, I'm going to cook them two different ways, and I want to find out which way is actually best because I have eaten grilled trout and smoked trout. I have never tried fried trout. I'm going to deep fry them just like I would catfish or anything else, so that's going to be interesting for me for sure. But I got them all laid out here, all 10 of these nice trout here. And some of these are really good trout, like this one right here. That trout there is probably, I don't know, 18 inches long, which is pretty good for a rainbow. A bunch of 16, 17 inches right here. But um, good mess of trout. So I'm going to fillet. I'll see how these fillet out and cut skin off like with a catfish. I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you what I do uh, with the ones I'm going to, to uh, grill on charcoal grill. So let's go. All right, now I'm gonna grill. I'm gonna again. I've never, I have never filleted a trout like this, so I'm kind of interested in this, and I have an idea because a trout's kind of a, a trout is kind of a flimsy fish. You got to be careful with them. So I'm just gonna fillet this out carefully because I could cut through that backbone. I think so easy. But I'm just gonna again. I'm filleting it out just like I would fillet out a white bass or a crappie or anything else. Now the meat on this thing looks wonderful. I mean, it just looks wonderful. And trout meat just looks like this, okay? And I'm being real careful here. I'm taking the skin off. Again, because I'm going to do it just like I would fry. There's that filet right there. It looks really good. Just like I'd fry up a catfish. I'm going to cut this rib out here. I'll tell you uh, 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 something about a trout. It's real. You can see right there, it just kind of comes apart. Just got to be real careful with them. That filet right there is um, very tender and very easy to tear. So I'm just going to throw it in my deal right there and then the uh, little pieces here. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to filet those out and I'll finish filleting that one out here the same way. Then I'm going to take these other trout that I want to I smoke. And I've already gutted them. I gutted them out um, before we brought them back to Missouri. I put them on ice. And they have been on ice. I'm just going to take their head off here. Just like that. And I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to touch anything. The scales on there don't mean anything. I'm just going to leave this fish whole. Except for the head. And we're going to grill these. So I'm probably going to... I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to fillet out five or six and then... Uh, um, leave the other five or six whole. We'll see how I do that. We'll, we'll just mix it up. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this up. Got to finish the rest of these trout here. Filleting some of them, leaving some of them with the heads on, and then we'll take them to the cooking pot. I'll get my family down here, whoever wants to be involved as far as tasting these trout and kind of give us their opinion. It's kind of fun to do that. So we'll see you at the cooking pot. <laughs> 